Hello from Walt Disney World. We're going on a little vacation this weekend. We are making a quick little stop though for a certain little pup. So this is the Best Friends Pet Hotel that we've used several times, actually. And we actually really enjoy this place. This is pretty much right across from Port Orleans. We're dropping off Arlo here for a couple days and he's going to have his own little vacation this weekend. So this was on Bonnet Creek Parkway, again, right next to um, the Port Orleans resorts and riding across Overpass Road here to go towards Hollywood Studios. This is the road that leads to Backstage Epcot. You can see Test Track straight ahead and we're going over to uh, Buena Vista Drive. And now we're turning on Victory Way. So there's Backstage Epcot. There the World Showcase over by uh, Riviera and we are heading to Art of Animation. There's Caribbean Beach and we're going underneath the Skyliner right now. So Hollywood Studios is over here as well. And uh, yeah, the turn for Pop Century and Art of Animation should be down here. This is Pop Century right here, which means Art of Animation is the next one. And here we are, we've made it to Disney's Art of Animation Resort for a weekend staycation. So we're parking right now and checking in and then heading all the way down to our building. We're staying in the Little Mermaid section. So we are walking inside right now. There's the Art of Animation sign. And uh, yeah, we are so excited to do this. We've explored this place many times, but never stayed here. This is the uh, the bus drop off over by Animation Hall. The main sections of this resort are the Cars area, the Little Mermaid area, the Finding Nemo area, and then the Lion King area. We're inside the lobby right now. It's not very busy at the moment, and it's about 3 p.m. This is where, or this is when we can check in at 3 p.m. So we have checked in. We're heading over to the Little Mermaid section, like I just said, and I think we are on the second floor. We will be coming back here and exploring a lot, hopefully in a little bit, but we're going out to the car and then over to the Little Mermaid section. The weather's a little bit bleak today, so I don't know what we're going to be doing. We do have a, uh, a reservation for Epcot tonight. So we drove down to the very end of Art of Animation. Uh, that is the Lion King section, and this is the Little Mermaid section. So we're in this building. I don't know if we face the Skyliner or the pool area. We'll come back and look at all the photo ops in a little bit, but this is the Ursula building. So I guess we'll head up to the second level and just sort of go from there to try to find our room. So it looks like this is our room right here. So we're facing the Skyliner. 7618. Hi! So this is our room. So far, uh, this, this has been... Uh, the most challenging obstacle to navigate. Just this door is very close to the bed. Hopefully it won't be bed. too bad when we're not trying to put all our luggage in here. Right. So, here we are in our Little Mermaid room. This is already adorable. The pearls here are the lights for the other beds here. We have two queen beds. Mm -hmm. um, and there's Sebastian and Flounder. And then we have Prince Eric there. And Max and Scuttle. It's really cool and it's like sort of like lopsided a little bit because it's like a sh shipwreck I'm, I'm presuming <laughs> this is like the, uh, the the privacy like curtain here for the bathroom just a bunch of under the sea characters and then this is i almost said the kitchen this is not the kitchen this is the bathroom Can't here with a little vanity mirror here with some shells uh this is the the, the what do you call this the actual shower I'm gonna turn on the light there it is and then there's Ariel. <laughs> Yay! And then we have another mirror over here. Which, does this turn on? Probably, right? This switch maybe over here? Ah, yeah. There it is, okay. A little bit more light. And then we have some sheet music from Under the Sea. Which, that's adorable. Our chairs here are little, little clam shells oh, as well. Oh yeah, that's a really so cool like, like dresser. Doors, but then... Oh, the fridge. The mini fridge. Neat. And then our uh, other curtains over here, which looks to be like seaweed. Okay, this is our room here at the Little Mermaid section of Art of Animation. There's an octopus over there for our coats. So we are pretty much done unpacking. We're going to go get some lunch here in a minute uh, at Animation Hall. This is the map that they gave me when I checked in. So there's the Little Mermaid, the Lion King, the Finding Nemo, and then the Cars sections. And I'm really glad where we are because we face Hourglass Lake and the Skyliner there as opposed to facing like the parking lot. We did bring some drinks. We're probably not going to drink all of these, but we have some variety. We have uh, some Sunny D vodka seltzers, some Jack Daniels drinks there, a white Russian, uh, and then a rainbow sherbet beer, as well as some Gatorades. Of course, we brought some Lorcana in case it rains or we want to play that maybe a little bit later on. Tonight, uh, I put our bags over here and then I also brought our uh, pin trading lanyards because we might be able to pin trade over here at some point and then i also did not show this but in the bathroom look at this this is uh like ariel's grotto right 
which is really neat. I liked it a lot. Um, but yeah, let's go and get some lunch, right? Yeah. Yay, I'm hungry. I wouldn't say this is the best view of Everglass Lake, but that's the Skyliner over there, and we're heading back the direction that we came. We're gonna go downstairs and then over to uh, Animation Hall. We're still trying to figure out what we wanna do for dinner tonight. So we'll see what we end up getting at Animation Hall. I wore my most animation-inspired shirt today. This is like the earliest that I think we've ever checked into a resort. We're going around the back of the Lion King um, like section and then we'll go through uh, the, the Finding Nemo section back to Animation Hall. There's like this like boat launch over here that I've never seen before. There's Pop Century on the other side of the lake. And then the Skyliner, which we will absolutely be utilizing at some point this trip. There's the Skyliner station back there. We're walking between the, uh, the Finding Nemo and the Lion King areas and these buildings are a little bit different so the little mermaid area where we are is the oldest building from the art of animation resort and and these are like the newer ones looks like they're doing some sort of a horticulture project over here but this is the big blue pool that's the main pool for art of animation and we're heading inside the yeah, other quick service this is a landscape of flavors so they have multiple different bays each having different stuff that we could get so there were so many different food options that i did not show because again it was just sort of a lot but you could like build your own bowls they had sandwiches and everything what did you get brennan i got the meatball sub that is a meatball sub if i've ever seen it and then <laughs> i got this barbecued mac and cheese and then we get some some chocolate milks this is where we came inside and there's the food court over there and i think we're just going to walk around art of animation a little bit there's a gift shop over here it's pretty quiet today at art of animation so we're looking for some potential mystery pin boxes maybe to add to our lanyards. So we found the pin wall, and they have a lot of these mystery boxes, and Brennan is getting a Disney Dogs mystery box. So Brennan got the Disney Dogs pins, of like course. I said, and then you also- To go with it. To go with your lanyard. And the Disney Dog pins. We got this little, uh, this Pluto. You're gonna go onto your lanyard. And then I got this Winnie the Pooh mystery pin set. They have a lot of these toiletries here for any last second necessities, as well as look at all these, like, snacks and candies over here. And I'm interested in, in some of this over here. They have cookies and donuts and danishes. So that is the Ink and Paint shop down there. And that's where we had lunch. And we are heading all the way down to the cars section now. So that is the front entrance of Animation Hall. And we're heading over to the cars area, which is right over here. And then slowly making our way back to our room. So we are heading into Radiator Springs, which is the farthest area away from where we're staying over in the Little Mermaid section. Every area has its own pool. So we're not limited to our Little Mermaid pool. We could totally come over here if we want to. We probably won't. Although, I have always wanted to use the pool over here in this section of the resort. Just by the little cozy cone cabanas. So when Pop Century was originally planned, it was supposed to be this entire Pop Century and Art of Animation was supposed to be one resort. And they built Pop Century first. They started on this section of the resort and they built the Little Mermaid section back there, but then mm -hmm. they didn't complete it. So this resort sort of was abandoned for a little while and then it was rethemed to Art of Animation and then Pop Century remained the 1950s through the uh, 1990s section. So that's why the Little Mermaid area is a little bit different, and that's why we have like an outdoor access to our room as opposed to every other section at Art of Animation, which are just windows. It would be really cool to come back to this pool though. I think it's adorable. Look at these little cabanas. I don't know about you, but every time that we come here, I just want to go back to Cars Land to California Adventure. This is the office, which is the pool house, I suppose, that I've never really walked over and looked at the details of. This is pretty cute right here. All right, we are heading over to the Little Mermaid area now, just on our way back to uh, the Little Mermaid. No, the Finding Nemo section on our way back to the Little Mermaid area. The Finding Nemo section is pretty much just the big blue pool, though. Every so often these seagulls will just start yelling and it's actually pretty loud. Uh, this is the drop-off, which is a bar that Brendan and I come to. Uh, whenever we do like a like a Skyliner bar crawl straight ahead is the Skyliner station This is like a splash pad over here and then like the main pool which we might come back to I don't mean that we're going to come back today But maybe like at some point it's during our weekend trip There's like this playground back here Right now the goal is just to make it back to the room and then we can maybe decide what to do from there All right, this is back over by Animation Hall where we had lunch and now we're heading into the Lion King area So we're getting ready to head back to the room, but before we do Roy, are you ready to get real freaky? <laughs> so I'm probably going to be putting music with that, but uh, the silence was a little bit awkward. We didn't stay in The Little Mermaid. I would have loved to stay in the, uh, the Lion King area. It's one of my favorites. Just absolutely one of the most photogenic areas in just any resort. Like the elephant graveyard over here is just sort of like a little playground, which is always fun. And there's Scar right there, and then Zazu. And then we made it back to 
our section over here, which do you want to walk around this or do you want to go back to the room? It's up to you. Again, we are staying in this building over here on the other side. Over there, a lot of these are just random, um, just objects from Ariel. This dingle hopper, and then this pipe, a chest of uh, treasure, I guess, and then this stein. There's Ursula over there, and King Triton, and then of course, the majestic, the handsome, the, uh, the, the third adjective, Prince Eric. So this is our pool over here in this area. We have a bunch of these like conga fish around. See how only this section has this like outdoor balcony walkway compared to the other sections? Not that that's like any sort of commentary on these rooms versus the rooms like in the other sections, but I don't know, I just think it's pretty interesting, like a bit of Disney history. And there she is, Ariel with her best friend Flounder. Just sitting on that on that rock. We're gonna go over to the sidewalk over here just to see how close the Skyliner gondolas get. So the Skyliner does go directly over the sidewalk over to Pop Century, and then it goes right over the water. This is Hourglass Lake. That's the Generation Gap Bridge way down there. This is just gorgeous. Just flying over the water in a Skyliner gondola is just awesome. Brennan pointed this out. I don't know if it's like legitimate, but all of the fish are running away from Ursula over here, even up on like the balcony. Like the ones over here are smiling and laughing, but these ones all look concerned and they're facing the other way and it's the same. It's like mirrored on that side too, on the other side of her. Yeah, but it was right. They're like running away from Ursula there as well as these. And then there's Sebastian over there conducting the orchestra. See, I don't know, maybe just all the fish are like coming to the party here, like at the pool, right? But they definitely look concerned. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit like, nervous. <laughs> okay, so now we're heading back up to the room. Brennan's laughing because I, I danced with the conga fish back there and it looked silly, apparently. Right behind Ursula's big booty <laughs> right now. Uh, yeah, so let's go back to the room. Let's see what we want to do today. It's a little bit after five o'clock right now, so we still have plenty of like early, late afternoon, evening in front of us and we've already explored the resort and we've had some lunch. So we are going to open up the, uh, the pin boxes. I've got the mystery pin boxes. So this is Brennan's Disney Dogs mystery pin. Box. All right, so these are the ones. Oop, these are the ones I can get. Are you hoping for anyone in particular? I. It's hard because you want to get ones yeah. that you want to trade, but then you also want to get ones that you actually want to get. The lady one would be cute, and then the pongo one would be really cute. Yeah. Not Pluto. Pluto would be cute. Ooh. I got lady. You got lady. All right. <laughs> Yay. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, look at her. She's okay. so cute. This was 1999. Mm. What about this one? What if it's like a duplicate? Did they guarantee that it's like a different set of mystery pins? We're mm -hmm. not we're not big pin people, so we're not big pin people. No. Okay. Okay. Ah! It's a pongo! I got the two I wanted! Oh well, that's cute! Perfect! But now you don't have ones to trade. Nope. <laughs> so I got the Winnie the Pooh ones. And I'd be okay with any of these, but then I think I'd also be okay with trading them if you wanna look at the ones that you could get. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a big fan of Winnie the Pooh. Maybe not like the biggest fan, but I enjoy Winnie the Pooh. So here we have Eeyore, okay. Okay, it's hard, it's not really focusing on Eeyore. Uh oh, focus on Eeyore. Uh, no, it's focusing on your face. <gasps> There we go. Poor Eeyore. Nobody <laughs> wants to focus on Eeyore. <laughs> ah! What the heck? Oh. You couldn't see anything. You just shifted weird. And then a Winnie the Pooh taking a nap. Okay. So I'm okay with trading both of these, I think. But they're both adorable. I don't like pins with text on them or like years, I think, is my thing. So they're cute, but I can I can trade them for something even cuter, maybe. So we are listening to Hey Disney right now, which is like really cool, like, like ambient music. Like the soundscapes of the theme parks. Yeah, it's really cool. So we are playing Lorcana. We have a couple starter decks here. So this is my Aurora, Simba, um, Steel and Sapphire deck. And then this is Brennan's um, Dalmatians and Peter Pan, Amber and Emerald deck. And we're having a good time. And I think we decided to go to... Rosen Crown. Yeah, we're going to Epcot. Yeah. So we're outside the room and it looks like it rained while we were inside playing Lorcana. I got the umbrella because it might continue to rain. Uh, that's our room right down there and it's it's dark now, obviously. So we have walked over to the Skyliner and we're taking this over to Caribbean Beach and then over to Riviera and then finally 
over to Epcot. This is the Generation Gap Bridge on Hourglass Lake. It's hard to see, but that is our wing of the resort right there. The Little Mermaid area. It's in this blurry wrapped gondola. A single doo-doo-doo. Yeah, I never went doo 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 We're pulling into the Caribbean Beach Station right now. That was a really quiet, pleasant trip, and now we're transferring from here over to the Epcot line, which we may not have our own gondola. Okay, we're gonna go into the Epcot line and we might get our own gondola, actually. So we made it to the Riviera station, and now we're taking the redirect over to Epcot. And we're doing pretty good on time. Yeah. And we're just by ourselves, it's great. It's been nice. Ooh, and the breeze, Ooh. oh, there it is. All right, we're approaching the turn. That's so, ooh, that's big. Ooh, God, it's getting bumpy. <laughs> and we're making the turn. Epcot to the International Gateway. Yeah, Epcot is the next stop. So our reservation is for about 10 minutes before park close. So we'll be able to see the fireworks from Rose and Crown. We're going past the boardwalk right now, which we did contemplate potentially going here for dinner, but we haven't been to the Rose and Crown in a little bit. And when we went during Illuminations, we really liked it a lot. So we're going to watch Luminous from Rose and Crown. Passing through France right now. And it is pretty dark and this, uh, this wrap on the gondola is not really doing any favors. Please remain seated until the doors automatically open. When exiting the cabin, please supervise children, collect your belongings, and watch your step. So here we are at the Epcot station and we are heading right to the World, uh, no, the International Gateway into the World Showcase. Will this be a viable option to take back to the resort? I don't know. We'll see how fireworks are. So this is the International Gateway entrance into Epcot. We are now inside the park and I don't think I really noticed these windows before over here. These are really cool and we totally timed this absolutely perfectly. I can check in for the reservation pretty much right now. And we are checked in for our dinner. So I'm just casually moseying. And just like that, our table is ready. So we're heading inside. So we're inside the restroom and we're heading to the table now. We're sitting in the very good. So similarly to what happened the last time that we did this, we're being right down to the water to watch Luminous. now back inside the Rosen Crown, and I don't know if you could hear what I was uh, saying before because the microphone was facing that way. So we're sort of sitting over here in the corner. We got the scotch eggs appetizer, and then I got some wine, and then Brennan got this uh, Guinness. So Brennan got the bangers and mash again, and then I got the fish and chips this time. And we are outside of Rosen Crown right now after a delicious meal. The UK is pretty quiet at the moment. We are heading back to the Skyliner. Hopefully it's not too busy. This was one of the quickest trips that we've ever had at Epcot, and it was Brennan's idea, and I think it really worked out for us. We get to see the fireworks and have a quick little meal. So we might be paired with some people, I think, on the way back to uh, Caribbean Beach. We'll see. So we might get paired with... So we might get coupled with some people on the way back to Art of Animation. We'll see. So we're probably going to be including the evening pretty quickly once we make it back to Art of Animation because it is getting pretty late and we have a very early day tomorrow. So we've made it to the Caribbean Beach station and we're heading directly over here for our final destination of Art of Animation. We have a gondola by ourselves, unlike the one that we took from Epcot to uh, Caribbean Beach. So we are flying over to the last lake right now, over to the Skyliner Station, to the Generation Gap Bridge, and then walking back to our room. And it is pretty late. We are feeling tired, but very happy. Are you feeling very happy? I'm feeling very sleepy. So we are back in Animation Hall, and it is still open over here and very busy. So there are a lot of options here to consider. Brennan's looking at this one over here. I have no idea what this is, but it looks good. 
They all look good. I might, I don't know, they have these brownie bites, I might just get those, or a cookie. They have these fun desserts over here. Brennan sees the, uh, the pin trading tray over there, which we're going to be doing tomorrow. Tomorrow we're definitely pin trading. And we are finally back to our building, heading back to the room. We're tired. So I ended up getting the brownie bites from the animation hall food court, and Brennan did get a dessert from Rosen Crown. I got the sticky toffee pudding, and it's in a cup right over there. Yeah, we brought it home with us, and we're going to be going to bed here because we're waking up early to go to Animal Kingdom tomorrow, a park that we've not gone to in a while. Yeah. But then we'll be coming back to the resorts, and then maybe doing some pen trading, maybe take the Skyliner, mm -hmm. maybe get into a pool, maybe do that the day after. I don't really know, but our first day, our check a day at Art of Animation, was a lot of fun. I'm so glad that we're finally doing this. Mm -hmm. Just staying in a Valley Resorts at Disney. Just staying in a Disney resort in general. On the Skyliner It's very line. rare that we get to do this and I'm happy to be here. Yeah, so, and then just tonight exploring the resort and then going to Epcot for a quick dinner mm -hmm. and fireworks show and then coming back to the room to just relax. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're going to bed. We'll see you soon. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Bye.